Deanna Tadone was a beautiful bride and a recent law school graduate when her doctor told her she didn't have long to live. And he said, you have ALS. And at that moment, I felt like I left my body. Deanna's father, an orthopedic surgeon, was shocked by what little help was available. We took her to all the various citadels uh, that specialize in ALS. And uh, to my chagrin, uh, there was nothing that could be done for her. Unable to accept defeat, Dr. Tadone devoted himself to developing a treatment to help his daughter. I call myself the resident guinea pig. Finally, one worked, meaning it significantly slowed the progression of Deanna's ALS. He calls it the Deanna Protocol. It consists of supplements like AKG. So we put her on the AKG, and then we ran out of it. Within one day, her tremors became unbelievable. Okay. Put her back on it, got some more, put her back on it, the tremor subsided. Dr. Tadone chronicled his daughter's success online. Soon dozens of other people with ALS tried the Deanna protocol and experienced similar results. People like Anthony Tapazzi, the former president of the Mississippi Power Company. Six months ago, I had a problem with excess saliva. I don't have that problem today. Uh, my voice is better than it was. It's not perfect, but it's better than it was. I couldn't drink water or take a pill without feeling like I was going to choke to death. Today I'm taking probably 30 pills a day. I don't even think about it. I could only eat soft food six months ago. Uh, I'm eating steak, ribs, anything I want today. Of the people who tried the Deanna protocol, 75% report it slowed the progression of their ALS and reduced symptoms such as twitching and difficulty walking. Interest in the Deanna protocol led researchers at the University of South Florida to study its effects on mice with ALS. It's important to recognize that the animal model that we use uh, is very aggressive and it's, it's probably uh, you know, significantly more aggressive than uh, the human form of ALS. The mice on the Deanna protocol had improved neurological scores, increased motor function, and most importantly, survived longer than the mice who weren't. I think it's pretty remarkable that, you know, there's many, there's hundreds of drugs and, you know, experimental compounds that are being screened uh, with this animal model. And relative to what's out there, I think, you know, this is, this is proven to be probably the most effective thing out there that's readily available to, to the general public and to ALS patients. Results of the Deanna Protocol mouse study were published in two leading medical journals. To me, it's a, it's a very important finding, and I think doctors, neurologists need to uh, acknowledge the results of this study and the feedback from patients and I think they should uh, recommend it as a therapeutic option for their patients. So while a cure for ALS appears to be a long way off, some patients are at least able to slow the progression of the disease with the Deanna protocol. Lori Johnson, CBN News.